rotate this to about there. I mean marks. I put it in the chuck. Put it in the chuck. Look, it's got three jaws. 60 degrees. 360 divided by three is uh, no, sorry, 120. Whoa. 120 degrees. So. 20 degrees and 30 degrees, so I'd say about there. That should be good. Like that. It's about 30 degrees from up top. So that would be 45. So that would be about 30 degrees right there. I don't know why I put my X and zero on X because uh, I just moved it. Ugh, it's all good. Doesn't matter. Here we go again. Turn on the machine. Put on the feed. Bring it closer. So let's start going. Back it up. Put on some WD-40. Lubrication is very important, children. Put on the feed. Come on, baby! The aluminum, yellow machine, nice. 6061 T6. This is what this bar is. One inch, I just cleaned it. I can hold it in the chuck properly. There we go. I'm gonna go by eye about. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. About here. And you win. Ah, you my camera, dude. There we go. That's one cat finished. Isn't that crazy? Turn on the machine. Back up. Elmo is a machine. Pull and die, mega by day. Yes. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, went to school in this. I went to Algonquin College in Ottawa in the tool and die making course. It used to be a three-year course, and the, when I went, it was a three-year attempt. Uh, two-year intense. So I did the course in two years. It was great. Learned a lot of stuff. That should be about there. That should be good. About there, right? Oh, fuck, I went too far. Oh, pardon my French. Doesn't matter. It's just a call it. No, I'm not. Who cares? There we go. Tighten up this side like this. There we go. Remove the handle. So I'm going to stack on this handle here. Oh, baby. Bring it closer. Not a problem. To zero. To zero. And the vi. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Turn on. Way. Okay. It's good. Touch a bit. Go that way. Put a bit of lubrication. There we go. Last cut. Is that crazy? Is it junk? Come on, cut! Aluminum! Yes, making a collet! Yes, all the balls! See that in a second now. Helmut is making this crazy piece of junk. Yes, it's about there. Should be good. But what I gotta do is back up. There we go. I didn't do that before, you see? Doesn't matter. It's a stupid flipping collet. Come back in. There we go. And we're finished. See? No problem. Crazy, isn't it? Yes. There we go. Oh, yes. Watch your eyes. Junk. Not junk. Fun. Finally, I, use, I haven't used this machine in so long. There you go, I see. I mean, myself, I cut it. That's right there. When I put it in the chuck, it'll close clamp down on the bolt. See, look, I want to put the bolt. Put the bolt in like this. See? Oh. Then when I close the vise, it's going to clamp it. But I need to cut on this side. So what's going to happen is the bolt is actually going to be like so. I cut the piece of aluminum with my aluminum blade. See, I use a vise. Because if you don't, she'll turn. She'll, she'll, she'll turn and then uh, 
You can get hurt. See? Call it done. Yay. Now I'm going to clean it up. Clean up the collet. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Oh boy. Put it back on this side. Tighten it just a bit, not too much. I'm going to cut it. You see I got a 45 degree in there. Let's remove this. This one. Turn it a bit. Nah, not junk. Good stuff. Yay! Clean it all up. Nice and clean. Yes! Come back here. See? It's a cam. Come back here. Put on my shampoo tool. Put it parallel to the axis. back come in slowly and then turn by hand make sure you don't crash and just get in my shampoo yes crazy so I'm gonna cheat you see cheating cheating grab the shampooing tool you see come over here by hand and just put a little shampoo there we go see nice and clean all done! Here we go! Never leave the key in the truck. I have a habit of uh, keeping my hand when you're doing something or you put it in the machine. So I'm like, oh, see, nice. Now what you do is you put the screw on this side, and this end like that, you see? Then you put it back in the truck. And then look, you see? You put the slitting parts Put them on the uh, right here. I gotta remove a bit. So I'm gonna stick it out a bit. Like that. And then, you come in, and you clamp it nice and tight, the screw. So, like this. There you go. The screw's going nowhere. Okay. Now you can machine it. You can machine it now. Emmett is not that crazy, is he? Change tools. I'm gonna come in here now. Remove some aluminum, because I have too much. Bring off too much and not enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like airplane. People. Good, you guys saw something, eh? Crazy! Getting close to the track! It's crazy shit! There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it at that. What I'm gonna do is a center drill a hole. I'm gonna go hole and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna make that hole there. So we take the center drill. There is a center drill. Don't have the center drill. Ah, it's cuckoo. Yep. Close. Stick it in the chuck. Yes, stick it in the chuck and the chuck. Back this thing out. <sighs> Boy. Kind of fast. Uh, I'm gonna speed here short. Let's give that a try. Give this a try. Cuts like butter. Go slowly. Make center the hole. Yes. No problems. 
Mm. Next time, take a hold. Next time, make a bit bigger. So we make like champagne. See? Next time, take a hold. Now, what size drill is it? Hmm. Shouldn't even use a cobalt drill. Cobalt! You want the cobalt drill? Holy shit, look at that. Got good eyesight, eh? Look, it fits right in. See? I got good eyes! Tool die maker! Yes! Uh, Salaries up here in Quebec are shit. So, I do my own stuff. If I'm gonna work for somebody, they better pay. Use a bit of oil. I do. Come on. There we go. Use a bit of oil. See what it sounds like. Yeah. Cutting like butter. See? Cuts like butter. Butter. In and out slowly, guys. I'm going to drill right up to the holes. Out. Again. Back out. Again. It's sexual, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I gotta love cobalt and steel, man. Look at that. Precious like the bat. Go need carbide. Carbide will snap. Cobalt drills. Yep. All right. <sighs> Use the air on there, lazy bugger. Oil on there. Manually, slowly but surely. There we go, going slow, don't wanna hit the bottom too hard. There we go. There we go. Okay, you guys get the picture.